sort of talk about the overall American healthcare system, the United States healthcare system, the first thing we have to recognize is that we are an outlier internationally and that we are the only industrialized nation without a real healthcare system, a uh, an organized system from the part of government that says this is the way the thing, the, this is the way it works. It's been more of a free market approach, which for years had a lot of very positive aspects to it. I mean, clearly, um, as a physician, Glenn, you've seen the advancement in technology and how things have advanced uh, as far as when 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 I was a paramedic and we used to see patients, the different equipment and the huge leaps and advances of technology. And that generally occurs because you've got a free market and people are um, investing money into those advances. One of the downsides, though, is the cost of health care. Maybe if we can pull up some slides and we can talk about these, we'll be able to talk about how health care in this country has cost. I'm going to first give a, an amazing amount of kudos to a wonderful organization that we read a lot of their material. It's called the California Healthcare Foundation. Um, the California Healthcare Foundation is easy to Google. They have a tremendous number of uh, resources and sort of technical reports. But what we're going to do is look over some pretty easy bar graphs. And this stuff is online too, as well. And uh, it deals with healthcare costs. So the first, this first one, we'll sort of focus on, I'll give everyone some numbers here so they can see it. But the first chart here represents healthcare spending in the United States. And this is between 1961 and 2011. And then the far right bar is a projected for 2021. And what we see is that we started off in healthcare spending in 1961 at about 20, 29 billion, that's with a B, at $29 billion in the United States. Last uh, 2011 report had us at what, what you'll read is $2,701 billion, which translates to $2.7 trillion. So we've gone from $29 billion to $2.7 trillion in, those, in that short span of time. That is projected to almost double by 2021. By 2021, we're going to look at $4.7 trillion in healthcare spending. There's not very many people that don't recognize that is an unsustainable path and that we really have to look at how we're going to address that. That's where a lot of the debate comes in. Of course, those are in real dollars. So if we look at our next slide, we're going to look at health, health spending as a share of the GDP of the gross domestic product. And that's the amount of goods. GDP is the amount of goods created in this country. And again, we go from 